distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to extend a warm welcome to you for your visit to Taijung District Agricultural Improvement Station. Now I am going to briefly introduce this station. This station was established in Taijung City in 1902 and moved to the present location at Dashuan in Changhua County in 1984. It occupies approximately 56 hectares of land and 16.7 hectares in Puli Branch Station. There are 148 researchers working with state-of-the-art equipment and facilities. Serving as a regional agricultural research and extension center in central Taiwan, the headquarters of this station consists of the Crop Improvement Division, Environment Division, and Agricultural Extension Center, as well as several research sections under each division. Next, I would like to show some apparent achievements of this station obtained in the last few years. The Crop Improvement Division consists of rice breeding, rice quality, dry land crop, vegetable, fruit tree, and floriculture sections. The major functions of the crop division involve the improvement of varieties and their cultural methods for major crops. It will eventually enhance agricultural productivity, reduce production costs, increase farm income, and sustain agricultural competitiveness. In rice breeding, the major breeding goal focuses on the improvement of grain quality, high yielding, and resistance of pests and diseases. In order to reduce the impact of the liberalization of world trade, the present project focuses on a breeding project of new high-quality rice and developing low-input cultural techniques. We are also encouraging farmers to the aggregated paddy field cultivation with high-quality rice so that it could enhance the competitive ability of our rice in the world market. Research on maximizing the quality of rice grain is emphasized in this station. The Rice Quality Laboratory was established for the purpose of testing the physiochemical properties, eating quality of rice grain for both the teaching district and for other districts and to set up the standard ranking of rice grade in Taiwan. Recently, the proper production areas of paddy fields were identified and designated for high quality rice cultivation. Besides, we are already developing the package farming system for the organic rice culture and extending it to farmers. As for the development of new dryland crops, new varieties of sorghum, buckwheat, and jobs tears are developed, and among them, hybrid sorghum Taijung number no. 5, wheat Taijung selection number no. 2, are available for making wine. Buckwheat and jobs tears were developed as health promoting crops in this station. Both of the raw and processing products are met with satisfaction from consumers. Moreover, we are developing a paddy and dryland rotation cropping system by introducing herb and legume crops. In vegetable breeding, some edible potted varieties of peas, such as Taijung number no. 11, and green peas, Taijung number no. 14, have been developed by this station. So far, both of them were widely cultivated in Taiwan. In order to meet market demand, we have been focusing on developing greenhouse techniques for the horticultural crop production. Different frame shapes of tubular steel pipe houses covered with film plastic are adopted to reduce the production costs. To increase the eating quality of leafy vegetables and to stabilize the vegetable production. Recently, in the fruity vegetable production research, the greenhouse sweet pepper culture technique was successfully released as a new vegetable crop. For the soilless vegetable cultivation approach, a novel design of dynamic root floating hydroponic system was created. It composes together with low height frame shape of film covered pipe house. Owing to its anti-typhoon capacity, this kind of hydroponic plantation for vegetable production is gradually being distributed island wide. With respect to the research and extension on fruit trees, the regulations of harvesting time, the enhancement of quality, and the decreasing of production costs were emphasized. By using the techniques on pruning, bud forcing, and diagnosis analysis, the model of harvesting table grapes two times a year was established. The year-round production of grapes was possible through the application of a simple facility greenhouse culture. High quality oriental pears can be produced in the lowlands through adoption of top grafting. A new technique called twice bud forcing method 
was developed recently and resulted in decreasing production costs greatly. Results indicated that pears could be harvested two times a year in the lowlands in Taiwan. In recent years, research on the citrus culture has focused on the improvement of tree shape and automatic operation so as to increase the productivity and to decrease production costs. Floriculture research in this station focuses on major cut flowers such as chrysanthemum, roses, gladiola, xanthodichia, lilies, and oncidium. The commercial varieties and original species were collected for breeding. New mechanic cultivation techniques such as the plug nursery system combined with the automatic transplanting system on chrysanthemum was developed and released to farmers. Some new techniques of pruning and arching were developed to enhance the cut flower quality of roses. An automatic irrigation system and chemical spraying system was used on rose production to reduce production costs. Partial shading by screening net on chrysanthemum and lilies proved to improve the cut flower quality of them. Another highlight obtained so far in the cultivation of kala lily, by using substrate culture, it could reduce the infection of Erwinia disease as well as to enhance its quality and productivity. The post-harvest handling of chrysanthemum and gladiolas has also been researched. The proper handling procedures of post-harvest treatment starting from field to the preservative solution in packing room were developed and released to growers. The major functions of the Crop Environment Division consist of the improvement of the plant protection technology and epidemic forecasting of crop pests and diseases. We are also dealing with the promotion of soil and fertilizer application technologies and the development of various kinds of farm machinery and implements to facilitate crop production. In the field of plant protection, we have made continuous efforts in both research and extension on the ecology and control techniques of major pests and diseases of paddy rice, fruit trees, vegetable and flower crops in central Taiwan. Research on the isolation, characterization, and anti-serum preparation of virus, for instance, cucumber mosaic virus, and Lysianthus necrosis virus on some cut flowers would benefit the identification, quarantine, and control of these virus diseases. In order to cooperate with the establishment of National Plant Protection Center, we have participated in the monitoring system of major potent pests and diseases. Recently, the station developed a technique that cut piece fresh guava fruit guava fruit juice or diluted pineapple concentrated juice mixed with different kinds of pesticide would be more attractive for female fruit flies to reduce the loss and damage caused by fruit flies. Experiments on soils and fertilizers are also being carried out in this station for the improvement of soil fertility and fertilizer application technique on the crop cultivation. Application procedures for the proper fertilizers have been established for many kinds of crops and then recommended to farmers to help them take a stable yield and enhance the quality. Some experiments carried out on compost and green manure application indicated that it was effective for the reclamation and maintenance of soil fertility. Research on organic farming has been one of the most important tasks in this station in recent years. It is aimed at establishing a natural way of farming system to grow crops only with organic manure and non-chemical pest control, which ensure natural and safe foods for the market. Great efforts are being made to develop a scientific composting technique and non-chemical methods for the control of plant pests. In the research of agricultural machinery, an automatic pesticide spraying system for greenhouse and a hang boom type automatic sprinkling system have been developed. A series of organic manure application machines has been developed. For controlling fruit flies, we developed a poison plate thrower. Moreover, a semi-auto walking transplanter for vegetable seedling has been developed. It was found to be able to save a lot of labor force and to increase transplanting efficiency. Agricultural extension is also an important goal of the research effort of this station. Extension activities are the intermediate connection between farmers and the researchers. Due to its significant function in current stage, Agricultural Extension Center was reorganized in 1991. 
Now it consists of Agricultural Extension Education Section, Agricultural Management Section, Rural Living Section, and Farmers and Consumer Service Section. In terms of Agricultural Extension Education, the Center is facilitated to conduct many different kinds of on-job training courses for the local agricultural extension workers, core farmers, and farm youth. In addition, to comply with government's agricultural foreign policy, we also organize several workshops for the extension agents of foreign friend countries. These training programs are helpful to national diplomatic affairs. With respect to the 4-H club education, to cooperate with local farmers association, many intensive activities and low interest loan projects are held to encourage the farm youth for starting their farming careers. Mass communication is also an effective way to disseminate agricultural information and knowledge. Several modern facilities and instruments have been utilized to collect or progress various agricultural mass media or software. By using these facilities, agricultural information can be easily transmitted to the farmers through radio, television, newspaper, magazines, and computer networks. The responsibility of rural living covers the following works, such as community development, rural culture development, rural living modernization, home economics, rural sightseeing, and leisure farming of Taijung District. With respect to the agricultural management, many surveys on economic crops and types of farming systems have been conducted to estimate their economical benefits and management efficiency. Recently, more manpower is focused on the reorganization and assistance of a smallholder farmers group in Taijung District and renamed it as Agricultural Production and Marketing Team. Significant efforts found that it is possible to enlarge the farm management scale to promote produce quality by ranking package and to open multi-channel marketing system. Besides, in this station, we set up an agricultural video telex service system for offering daily information on major wholesale market for farmers. In order to offer more services to farmers and consumers, a Farmers and Consumers Service Center was set up in the Extension Building. It is equipped with a hotline, fax, and computer network to contact farmers. We provide the thorough data set of cultivation method and variety, field trips, planning courses, consultation by specialists in this station was well arranged. The Puli Brand Station is located in the sloping area with 625 meters above sea level in Nanto County. The major functions of it are to develop and improve the cultivation method and variety for sloping area and to utilize the margin land for establishing the slope farming system in central Taiwan. Recently, development of the greenhouse culture technique with muskmelon variety Taijung No. 1 and newly hybrid tomato variety, Taijung AVRDC number four, with anti pseudomonas and heat tolerant characters, is to meet the consumer's demand for summer season. Agriculture in Taiwan is now facing tremendous impact because of economic liberalization and internationalization. The competition of agricultural products in markets is becoming more serious. Several problems generated in these years are gradually critical and more sophisticated. In this station, much more progress as agricultural development could be expected through joint efforts of all the members working with well-equipped modern facilities. To date, all the members of this station have devoted themselves to the development of research of agricultural issues. Their endeavors and contributions have made research work both productive and fruitful. A prosperous and beautiful rural community in Taiwan can be expected. That's all for our briefing. Thank you for your attention.